Hello, everybody, and welcome to a late Sunday edition of the Corporate Gamer Broadcast. I am your host, Corporate Gamer, and I know that um, um, I know that uh, we. I said that I would be on earlier tonight, uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Unfortunately, uh, this life happened, and uh, yeah, so I was a little bit delayed, but uh, here I am, ready to play, ready to. Um, to get this done. So let's see how this works. Um, all right. Let's get ready. Get into gears. 
Hope that you guys had a good week, a good weekend as well. Um, I know here in Canada it's the it's a Thanksgiving weekend, so we have a long weekend. Monday is off, and I think in the states it is Columbus Day. And as I learned yesterday through uh, Kenny's stream, apparently some um, actually it was CV Maniac that brought it up. Um, I believe uh, some states have started calling it Indigenous Day, so which is a much better uh, much better name if you ask me. All right. By the way, this week I gave my viewpoint about uh, Microsoft and Zenimax Media. So you guys can go ahead to uh, aroundtable.ca and see that. Every time I see this man, I get Wolfenstein vibes from 360. Is it 360 or original Xbox? I don't remember. I actually still, I have, I do have the box. I just don't remember. Um, I don't remember if it's a 360 or Xbox One. I remember Castle Wolfenstein was the original Xbox. I think this Wolfenstein was on 360 early on, but I'm not. Do not quote me on that. So last we came to, we were playing, we got to the point where um, it was Act 2 and Kate was actually temporarily in the enemy, which was actually a pretty good, uh, and why is it stopped? Oh, it's continuing again. Read this game, let us know. Campaign. I'm still on Act 2, Chapter 1. I have a feeling this one's going to last me a little bit longer than... Um, uh, it's going to la last me a little bit longer than I did previously. So, in the other games. The other... To be quite honest, yeah, it's a series that's, that's loved. But it's kind of short. And the fact that some of these games took like two, three years to, in between. I mean, yes, they mostly evolved the multiplayer in a lot of cases. That God, but I'm, I'm talking the single player mode. And apparently I got some drop frames, I don't know why. Okay, that's to go up. Well, there's definitely that. Is there anything that I can... Nope, not that. Ooh, frag grenade. Where's the switch? Oh, I picked up different types of frags. I'm an idiot. a thing so I could have gone upstairs so let me go up hey Kate any idea what the light is <laughs> yes components <laughs> is that the only thing that was up here So I think, you, you know, the guy didn't have to come with me. Okay. 
no. I know, I'm just double checking everything. I'm being anal. I supposed to go? Uh, set out on the skiff, okay. to know how to get on the fucking thing. Well, I can't take this back. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Hey, no. Hey, what? I'm glad you're here. Me too. Well, that took way too long. the valley. Okay. I don't really care for her well-being, do I? So you haven't said a word in a while. How you doing? Well, the good news is I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, which has been a nice distraction. Look, I'll be okay. It's hard to believe Uncle's really gone. Yeah, it is. Thanks for asking about how I'm doing, by the way. Thanks for driving. Exhausting as a look. Ah, poops. Very much so. Well then. I do like the scenery though, it's really nice. Hey, I'm sorry for the way JD treated you back in the village. He's just. <sighs> Don't. You're the last person who needs to apologize for him. Yo, stop, stop! We got a gate ahead! And, from the look of it, this wall's pretty recent, too. Definitely new cog. Man, that sounded so wrong. All right, let's, um, get around and find a way to open this thing. Look, JD kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He didn't. Yeah. Right. Let's see where this leads. Hey, out there. 
Is that New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are to the northeast. Doesn't look far. He's gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing JD pal around with Fox. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Enforcer Relic. Okay. The fuck, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Where's the easiest way to go down? You can't, apparently I can't go that way. Apparently I can't go this way either. this why not okay can you move thank you okay I went through that way so there's another way here something up ahead Check it out. Jack just found a map of the area. That's new. Nice. That is new. That is very new. Okay. So I came from here. And I have to go there. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Simple maglock. Jack can get this over. Something flashing over here. Nice. Well, at least I know how to get on the thing now. That was surprisingly easy. Alright, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey. Make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. Yeah, sure. New Hope. Here we come. I keep wondering about something. JD and Settlement 2. You think Marcus knew? What he did, you mean? Yeah. I think he knew. You saw how he reacted. I did. And it... Well, it explains a lot, actually. Back in Nofaria? Just landed. Are you close to New Hope? Almost. Question. How will we know over there? Officially, New Hope never existed. It was disguised as Jameson Shipping Depot. So look for tracks. Is there anything follow. around here? Tracks. Got it. Oh, that thing goes well. Seem there's like much of anything. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, poor girl. Let's go check this out. Let's see if there's anything. I hope I'm not wasting my time. I really hope I'm not wa wasting my time. Well. Call me if you're into fixing uppers. Okay. That's not really much that I need. Man, whoever lived here is long gone. I have to go up. There's nothing here. 
there's no way of getting into this one. Nope, there isn't actually. Oh well. Okay. I would have figured there would have been a, um, at least a, uh, a component that I could pick up, but it's not. Still check it out. See, that's a, the one thing with this game. There's things that flash. But they're not always. Oh, the retro lancer. Uh, retro lancer. Anything here? Okay. All right. So basically. This is the, um... Can't see shit in here. Jack, light the way. Yeah, it's kind of... So it's not exactly what I thought it would be. Hmm. The only operation around here would have powered Skull when they attacked the Locusts on the ground. And these train cars might have useful stuff in them. I expected this to be a little bit more like Exodus from what I had understood at the time, but it's not quite like that. Yeah, there's explore, there's... Let's see what's in that train car. Oh, shit balls. to be a way of getting up there. I don't know how you get up there, but there's a way. Not that I would take it anyways. That's weird. There's no... Huh. Oh well. Hey, Avante! How's it going, kind sir? Yes, I am streaming late. Uh, I started about uh, a month ago. I stream only a couple of times a week. Um, I don't have much time for much else. The other times I stream mostly in the afternoon. Because that's when it, my my uh, my kid permits me to do that. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm supposed to go inside here. Yeah, so. Aww. Uh, not during the week. <laughs> only uh, the weekends. Yes, I got a component. Yay. But I'm, I'm going to slowly try to stream um, a little bit more consistently. Probably, my schedule during the week is probably going to be um, after 9. Ah, okay. 
I, I stream Saturdays and Sundays, but I think I'm gonna stream during the week. There's gonna be two days I'm gonna stream from 9 to 11 Eastern time. So where the fuck do I go? Like seriously, where do I fucking go? Search the train car. Oh. Grindliff maintenance notes. Dell here found some technical notes that detail how Grindliffs avoid avoided overheating during their descent. Interesting stuff. Found a cog engineer's old notes. Something okay, cool. Grindlift cooling systems. Oh yeah, they launched those Grindlifts from assault derricks near here. You know, if we found some of that cooling tech, we could probably wire it to Jack. Add a freeze effect to his flash. I'll leave that to you. Well, this tunnel's tapped out. And let's get back out to the skiff. All right. Ah, oh. that's cool. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, my schedule is laid out. Uh... Del, you can get out here. I'll boost you. My schedule, my work schedule. So I, I do. The problem I used to have with streaming before is because. Are you gonna go down? Okay. Um. Oh, that was. Interesting. What are the odds New Hope's gonna be, you know, as interesting? At this point, I'd say hi. So I used to do a lot of hours at work, um, and I used to, I told them once my kid is born, eh eh. And the one thing I the only thing I, I, I told my wife that I would do is I wanted to continue streaming because I miss it. A legitimate ah Okay, where am I supposed to go? I only did one, so something off here. Hey, Kate, did Oscar know about your mom's amulet? You know the symbol on it? He knew. He told him about it years ago. He didn't know what it meant, though. Neither did she. They must have known it meant something. Maybe, but it's not exactly the kind of problem you want to go around asking people about. Yeah. Am I going back? I don't even know where I'm going. Where's the thing? Uh, I just headed back to where I came from. Bravo. I took the wrong fucking way. Fun fucking times. Fun fucking times. And by the way, I miss you guys too. I, I did miss when... Uh, I, I know I caught your streams a couple of times. But usually it's during the feeding of my kid. And, uh, that's one. So that's where the thing is. So where are the other tunnels? Seriously. Let's go back up here. Let's see if there's anything... Oh, that's an actual tree. I thought it was like, like a spot. Alright. Let's go find something else. Can I just go back to where I came from? I think I went back to where I came from. Okay. Whee! This is fun. My god, am I lost? Is there a map here? Yes, there is. So where am I? So I need to go there. So I did one thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a map. I keep forgetting because this is the first time that there's a map. <laughs> uh, I would need to go there. So I continue straight. Jeez. Thank you, Psych. Thank you so much. I was wondering where that was coming from. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have to go. Ah, I have to go. Apparently there. I went there. That's where they want me to go. I thought I... Let's see if I missed anything. Psych, as always, thank you so much for passing by on the stream. You probably won't stay for long, I'm assuming. Um, and I'm apologizing for streaming later. Um, this is when time permits, so... There's no way. Oh. Oh. Ooh, component. Nice. I love me these components. It's so good. Uh, is there anything here? New Hope is there. Okay. Apparently I'm in Star Wars. Cool. Chillin, chillin, chillin. Can't you see? Alright. Um, well, I guess I'm not going anywhere there. Really? I can't go down? I'm full of fucking armor and I can't go down? How the fuck did I go down? Uh, is there a freaking... It's this one over here, right? Oh my god, I'm a fucking gear. I'm a gear. I'm I'm wired to the to the the teeth, but yet I can jump like three feet. Bra fucking vo. Uh. Have to go behind. Recover navigation. Well, you have no choice because I can't actually drive. Actually, that's bullshit. You're not navigation, I'm the one that's steering the fucking thing. Um. There's a place right there, though. But apparently I already did it. So... It's one of those things where I'm going to have Hollow Storm investigates Marco's threat. Coordinates to the old... If it's if his spot is one of the three part spots, I'm gonna shoot someone. Oh, cool. Well, welcome. Relax. If you were in Canada, I would say, roll up a doobie. But you're not. I'm assuming it's uh, Columbus Day where you guys are in the states. Us, it's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. You're sure? I mean, yeah. Should be right in those woods. It is, but I'm not off. Ah, you get compensated for uh, for working. Hold up. Like take another That's day an off, or this far north? You think they're from Oscar's village? Maybe. Huh. I wonder where they went. Uh, collectible found. Lena's journal. Barely ducked the swarm raid on our new home, only for Freddy to eat a bullet from the goddamn DB at Jameson Depot. Why are you up here, Cog? 
He's dead. Only Norso, Norsko and I now. What a disaster. Talked it over with Norsko. And uh, we're going to uh, try calling for help in the morning. Need to check the radio towers. We'll start with the northernmost one first. Maybe one of them still works. Not holding my breath, though. Norsko keeps asking me, Lena, why did we leave? Why did we think it'd be better? And frankly, I don't have an answer. They were from Uncle's village. Lena and Norsko. This journal says their new camp got wiped out, so they ran here. And got attacked again. We should try to find them. Tell them I don't want to snub. I will pick up the bullets, though. Alright, is there a map here? No. You only have a map when you're on that thing. I have to admit, at least this one has color compared to the other Gears of War. And they were saying, touting as this is being open world. It's not open world. Del, down here. Something's going to come and bite me in the ass at one point. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. this game they they actually um, they actually uh, you know reward you for going like trying to find things compared to all the other games <clears throat> Yeah, so if you guys are interested, I gave my thoughts about uh, the Zenimax. Uh, Microsoft buying Zenimax. The storm's getting closer. Oh, great. There we go. Another cog seal. We're in the right place. a little bit scary. Let's find a way out of here. Okay. Yeah, so basically um, it's my thought about it. I didn't want to I didn't want to do it right away. Everybody had a knee-jerk reaction. I think it's uh, no. Hot. Outside is cogs I think it's a good thing. In general for gaming yeah, people are going to be pissed. But Microsoft, this generation, you know, they're like, yeah, you're going to tell us we don't have first party games? Fuck that. We're going to buy everything. Got something up ahead. Let's check it out. In the long term, Microsoft should come up on top. So far, they still haven't. Well, this is the place, but the entrance is blocked. Let's find a way around.
Finish my thought after this. Help me get this open. Come on, Jack, let's go. The the so in terms of games, um, you know, everybody's argument is well, Microsoft bought Rare and they've been shit ever since they bought them, which is kinda true. But they bought Rare at a time where they were trying to impose their own culture on the gaming studios. In the last maybe five years, after Balmer left, um, and you know Phil Spencer took took front stage, um, gen the philosophy of, of Microsoft has changed a lot. Um, they've, they've bought entities since, since then, but they leave them do their own thing. LinkedIn, for example, <clears throat> they let them do their own thing. And I think for the gaming studios, they're going to do the same thing. It's like, yes, you're under the banner of Microsoft. That's fine, but we're going to let you do your own thing. The only thing with, with Bethesda that I'm hoping that they do is improve their QA. That's the only thing I'm hoping for. But in terms of creativity, I mean, you got Obsidian, technically speaking, you have all the ingredients to remaster the first and second Fallout. Think about that. You got Obsidian, which is the, the which has the creators of the original the original Fallout, plus they have they they create a new Vegas, and you have Bethesda, which kind of did everything else. No, probably not. I'm saying that's what I was I was hoping for. Um, you know, and I was, and, and even in the article that I wrote, I was, you know, Microsoft, when they, they moved away from their main goal, they kind of suck. Now with the Zoom. <laughs> hey, I've been there. I wish. Actually, uh, my, um, my uh, brother-in-law uh, does that. Um, he works for, for a gaming company and he does QA and he loves it. Um, but yeah, QA in a gaming company and QA in a regular company, like just for regular IT is so different. It's not even funny. Yeah, we're inside now. Main building, I think. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. You know what? Funny story. So, um, where I work currently, um, they didn't have a UAT department, user acceptance testing department. So I was like, all right. Uh, so the, the department that I was in decided to say, okay, we're, we're going to, Phil, you're going to be the one that's going to be testing everything out of the box. All right, fine. So the idea behind it is I do the UAT testing, make sure that I understand it, raise bugs if I need to, like not major bugs, but... Um, and then I build the training, the technical training, because when our developers, our product managers used to do the training, it was garbage, um, essentially. It was like, okay, you do this. It was so boring, it was horrible. Anyways, 
So I build trainings, I do videos, I have a quiz and a practical where a a agents have to actually do the practical. They have to pass it. If they don't pass it, they meet up one-on-one one -on -one with me and we discuss where the hurdles are. So I start doing the testing. Okay, find bugs here, find bugs there. Find... I'm like, okay, who's doing QA? I'm finding more bugs than anything else. And, uh, and I had a really hard time. And at one point, I was told, and I quote, why are you so negative? I was like, I'm not negative. I'm finding these bugs. I mean, it's not as if like I'm the one, I'm the one giving my opinion that this product is shit. I'm saying these are the bugs that I found. Sorry. And a lot of time, exactly. And a lot of times they had to go back to the drawing board. Oh yeah, this doesn't work. Or somebody randomly decided to give requirements for a product never went through the proper channels with the people that actually use the product. They released the product and then we're like, well, this is a flaw. This is a gap. This is a gap. This is a gap. It's not technically a, a, a bug, but it's, it's, it's detrimental to, you know, the way the product should be working. Well, nobody ever told us. I go, yeah, but nobody asked us. We didn't even know this product was, was available. And then you guys knock on our door and say, Hey, have fun training after the training, you guys are supporting it. Well, no, <laughs> right. Um, it's just, it's just hap I know it happens in every in every company. Just it's frustrating. And at one point, I was actually I used to get on calls and I was getting like, yeah, exactly. And I was getting, um, I was getting on people's nerves because I was actually doing my job. And I said, well, move me off away from the project if you don't want me to find bugs. And then so what did they do? They created a department, a UAT department. I'm not part of it. Um. And they're not doing their job the way they're supposed to. So then the product comes, we're ready to sell the product. The product is broken. Well, why? Well, you guys didn't test it. I mean, especially, and I don't know, you, can you tell me if this happens in your, in your neck of the woods? If let's say you have a legacy product and you have a new product coming through, technically speaking, in most cases, you should have, you should have, features that existed before or if you're removing a feature it should be you know um, it should be enhanced or there's a reason why it's not included and there's something that's even better but technically speaking there should be a feature comparison okay this product is this it should do this we have legacy products that don't actually do stuff right that they they, that they didn't move stuff forward and then the, the idea behind it is if you're a salesperson or a sales engineer, which I hate the term, but if you're a sales engineer, you're trying to sell the product on a technical level, it's a hard sell. It's a hard sell to freaking move up, say to the merchant, well, you know, we have a brand new technology. It's amazing. Okay, but does it do this? No. <laughs> and if we actually, we actually got on a call at one point, um, I was acting sales engineer and uh, they're like, oh yeah, sell the product the way you would normally sell it. Okay, so I sell the product get to the product, uh, the first question, does it do this? And we're like, well, no. So the way we moved away, oh, it's going to come soon. It's going to come soon. It never was part of the plans. We ended up moving it. It's so like, and I know it's like that everywhere. And I know that I've, there, you know, there's some places that are slightly better than others, but like, to me, it boggles my mind. Like, I, I just can't fathom. There's so many variables in between that, you know, so I'm just, uh, at this point, I'm just a, uh, you know, a, a gap filler, essentially. Yeah, we did too. What a waste of money. Think about that. What a waste of money. You think it's in my interest to find all these bugs? I literally had to ha do a presentation to execs of the company outlining why the product was so shit. And I'm like, I don't know why the product is so shit, but this is what I think it is. I go, first of all, I'm not supposed to find these zero-day bugs at UAT. I could find bugs, but I shouldn't find anything that should break the system. Sorry. Oh, but well, we didn't have those scenarios. I'm not testing the I'm not testing fringe cases. I'm testing the basic scenario, and I broke it. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. Yeah. We've done that too a long, a long time ago. We try to build our own stuff now, but yeah, before before we used to do third party. Yeah, 
yeah, I I don't I don't doubt it. I honestly don't doubt it. Anyways, having said that. Intercepted letter. Colonel Tolman, I apologize for the protocol breach of writing you directly, but I am praying that as a family friend, you can help me with a desperate situation. When command offered me a guard position at the New Hope Research Facility, they called it a career-making opportunity, a chance to support research that would cure rust lungs forever. But that's not what's happening here. I have been ordered to chain the ill to bed frames like prisoners, not patients. I have had to pin down screaming children while lab-coated men uh, with needles tapped their blood and left them to shiver on the floor. Now Samson isn't making a cure. He's making things. Can't say what they are. No one can. But no good can come of it. I promise you. I beg you, Colonel. Talk to Chairman Renroll. Tell him people are suffering here. Tell him Dr. Samson's gone mad. I can't stand by and watch this any longer. I thought we were kind of in a hurry. Yours, Private Sid Redburn. Across the bottom of the letter, something has been written in a different hand. Intercepted in mailroom. Got Redburn out of here. Yeah, I know. Shit. Another cog seal. They're definitely hiding something. Well, this building is in rough shape. There might be a way around it. Yeah, you know what? My experience, any company that's a development company that says, you know, we did we've done this for 20 years, they just overcharge. Um, once we had a merchant um, write in, and they had a um, they wrote in and they were like questioning. They're like, hey, you know, we don't want this to. Del, got a way through here. Yeah. We don't want to, um, you know, uh, you know, we don't want you guys to pay for anything. We don't want you guys to pay for anything. We just want you to, um, you know, to double check this. And we're like, they're like, you know, we developed, you know, the company developed a website for us. And we just wanted to see if it's a little bit high for what you think the work is done. Okay, fine. So we're like, well, we're not really experts, but okay, we'll, we'll look into it. Being a developer before, I know I know how it works. So I was like looking through. The company charged five hundred dollars, and I kid you not, for somebody putting um, for some for developing a base sixty four function in PHP when it's an out of the box function. I I I was like what. What you charged five hundred dollars? This poor lady. The the bill came up to like fifteen grand. There's about nine grand that was like okay, time and stuff like that, which is fine. But there was another four grand where they were just tacking on the fees, like administration fees, developing functions in PHP. That yeah, it, it, exactly. Oh yeah, this was a specialized function we had to develop and we spent hours on it. Bullshit. <laughs> That's why I hate develop. That's why it's one of the reasons why I moved away from being a developer. I just didn't didn't like that feeling of being of scamming people. Granted, when I used to develop. Marcus found your hallway and your circular door. Looks like somebody blew it up. Oh, right. That was me, actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. So what now? Okay. Look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis tanks. That's how you'll know you found it. Stasis tanks. Got it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, I'm the one that blew it up. Sorry. Yeah, so I... I, I s All right, you heard Marcus. We find another way in. Wait. Oh shit. We uh we might have a problem. Well that sucks. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden!
Oh fuck! Fuck! Jesus Christ! It's down. What's the goddamn warden doing here? The warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh shit! Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. I'm, I'm, by the way, I apologize if I've been pausing a lot to talk to you guys. Um, I like these chats. They're fun. Anything here worth a hoot? Can I go in here? No. Okay, so I guess I have to go in there. Or go this way. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is in here. Shit. More of them. Well, that's disgusting. By the way, hello to whoever's joined the stream. Hope that you're having a wonderful Sunday. I am streaming later than normal. It so leads absolutely nowhere. I apologize. Jack, can you get this open? Nice. So what's different with this game in particular is I can upgrade certain abilities. Coffee maker. Everything dies except the coffee maker. How bad was the fucking coffee? Eh. Eh. By the way, I really appreciate Psych and Avante for passing by and spending some time in the chat. I, I always really appreciate you guys passing by. And I love our conversations. And maybe at one point we should... Uh, maybe I should open up my Discord and we should... Uh, have you guys talk? Shit! Dell! Jubies! Let's take him out! Oh no, it's fine. Psych, you're you're awesome. I love you. I love your streams too, so you know. So I went in here to come back out here. Uh okay. What happened? I got a lot Something, do I go in here? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Let me just. For somebody that's super exhausted, she's actually running pretty well. There's literally nothing here. 
What am I supposed to do? I have none of that. Is there anything down here? There we go. I chopped your ass. I chopped your ass, motherfucker. Okay, well. There's nothing here. I guess. So what the fuck was the point of this? Can I know? Like, is there a point to this? There is an upstairs. I don't know where the, you're supposed to go. But there is an upstairs. This is where I came from. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's where I came from. Well, not from, but I. that's where I wanted to go and I couldn't go. And there's no map. So... Okay. Can the other guy give me some hit pointers? Like, seriously? Like, he's not doing anything. There's nothing here. So I'm not supposed to go up there. Alright. Watch well, should be a place that I'm fucking stuck for, like... 20 minutes trying to figure out... nothing here, and I can't go up there, right? No. no. The only possibility is here. Uh, this is blocked. There's nothing here. So there's the safe that I opened. So yeah, this was just for the, the component. There was nothing else here. This was just a search. So where the fuck am I supposed to go? I came from over here, didn't I? Pretty sure I came from over here. That looks kind of familiar. So I went down. Probably doing something so stupid. No, that's not what I wanted. So this tells me find a facilities research lab. Okay, fine, but there's no map, and I don't know where I'm going. So yeah, fun fucking times. I, I'm sure that's the way I have to go. I just don't know how to do it. Fudge me. Fudge me. Found something. Help me lift it. Really? Speak through, buddy. You too. Well, I'm in. Okay, those are definitely not stasis things. But what the hell are they? Not good, I can tell you that. Wow. The investigative reporting. Never seen gas like this before. Reject. Let's take it out. Quietly. So before
before we do anything, let's look at what's around here. Nothing. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, he's already in there. Jeez, I thought he was a yeah, I thought he was a robot. Nope, nothing here. <laughs> you like the pain, don't you? How many TVs did you have? Yes, or not? He's facing us. This drone is mine, yes. The other ones got taken over. Uh, how the hell do I direct? Go in there, I get shellacked, so I'm not gonna go in there. Is there anything in here? Oh, I just came back up. Okay. Got both of them. Sweet. Nice. Alright, so I come all the way. Is there any way of getting away from the. Okay, 
so where do I go? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, man. Can you charge a little bit faster, please? Your batteries suck. machine everywhere they need it at least you know a thing about the cog you can say a lot of things about them but at least they love their coffee Can't I? Yes, exactly the same. There's a lot of this that reminds me of. Uh... Why is my enforcer not getting? Oh, because it's just a. Bu There's no bullets. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thanks for the lurk, buddy. Thanks for passing by if you don't, I don't see you again. Oh, that's, that's okay. 
That didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Let there be light. Hey, kids, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Sampson, the scientist who ran that place, using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. He imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab, find Niles. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. See what you can do. Yes, components. Lore. Sovereign Directive 10345. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chairman of the Coalition of Ordered Governments, it is hereby ordered that all activities at the New Hope Research Facility are to be terminated effective immediately. It is further ordered that all staff report to the House of Sovereigns, where they will stand trial and face judgment on the 13th of Bloom. As citizens of the Coalition, each of us made a pledge to conduct ourselves with honor and to observe principles of loyalty and purity as it was decreed by our All-Fathers. I know no greater impurity than that has been conceived within the walls of New Hope, and no act more dishonorable than what was effectively the imprisonment and torture of children. Furthermore, the untruths told by, told by Dr. Niles Sampson and his team to protect themselves and their efforts from sc scrutiny indicate disloyalty of the greatest severity. Dr. Niles Sampson, you have forsaken your responsibilities to society, and so your society must forsake you. Chairman Monroe, the House of Sovereigns. Alright. Oh, there's another thing to read here. Patient analysis, uh, analysis, yes, analysis. Analysis AX331-2. Prior to loss of speech, the subject complained frequently about joint and lung pain as well as agonizing headaches. Subject's exposure to emulsion was severe even before testing began. Once Russ Lung had mass, uh, metastasized, Throughout the subject's body, death came quickly. Emulsion's effects lead to immense and immediate cell, uh, cell stress, but other cells undergo point mutations that could be considered beneficial. Studies will continue. Dr. Niles Sampson. Not creepy whatsoever. Observation room. They were watching this kid. 
Oh shit, Sherlock. So, where do we go from here? There's nothing in here. Oh. Exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it had something to do with you. More lore. Yay! Patient analysis EV184-9. EV184-9 has been exposed to emulsion levels hit hereto known without exception to be fatal. Yet she displays no detectable cellular degradation at all. Quite the opposite, if anything. We have decided to isolate and observe EV-184-9 closely, 26 hours, a, 26 hours a day, while continuing to administer a daily dose of concentrated emulsion. We tell her it's her medicine, and she smiles while she takes it. She is quite eager to be helpful. Dr. Niles Sampson Well, I do declare... This is giving me, like, Dead Space vibes. Like, the creepiness of it. to everybody that's joining the stream those that are passerbys lurkers hope that you're having a great saturday this is creepy shit right here creepy creepy shit you know i'm beginning to think niles wasn't a nice guy no shit sherlock Patient analysis RK619-4. RK619-4 is final transformation occurred roughly 18 hours before death. Quite disappointing as the subject cells had initially benefited from emulsion exposure nearly as much as subject EV184-9. It is time to face the hard truth. EV184-9's response to emulsion exposure may be entirely anomalous. And Dr. Torres just has just informed me that EV-184 they're just putting experiments on some on, on people that's it um, exposure they're entirely anomalous and Dr. Torres has just informed me that EV-184-9's T-cell appear to be particularly responsive he believes her body is now aging at a pace roughly half of the normal girl Dr. Miles uh, Dr. Niles Sampson yeah they were doing like some experiments on people 
So. Similar to like the FEV, I guess. The FEV virus in Fallout. children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then, what does all this have to do with me? Your grandmother was a freaking locust, yes. Uh, there's a checkpoint, it means that I'm getting closer. Something. Time worn data drive. There is a message hidden on the drive that Drac has decrypted. Dr. Sampson, I represent a concerned party within Chairman Monroe's administration. We are uncolored by the mess messianic moralism our chairman has constantly shown. Instead, we are pragmatists. Pragmatists. In our view, the greatest kindness we can do for Sarah is bring the pendulum wars to a swift, decisive end. To achieve this goal, we are willing to provide you with an aid and resources. With you with aid and resources. Unlike our chairman, we are capable of imagination, of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, as it were. Your work has too much potential to squander. Preparations are now underway to relocate your research to a new location, safely distant from eyes that may pry. Monroe has spies everywhere. We will speak with you again soon. Is there any particular reason we're not? Because I'm reading, you stupid idiot. God. You're annoying. All right, Marcus. Made it. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then put on your tinfoil hats. Marcus, that didn't work. What? You, 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 you. plugged into the sink. Ha <laughs> ha 
Where the fuck am I? We go up. Where the fuck am I going? Well, I'm gonna die. I supposed to cross? I go the wrong way. I take back what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Forever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope, someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message is...
Okay then. We track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers are back. Sucks. Out here. All right. Do your stuff, Jack. Jack. See what you can do. Pressing the wrong button, but okay. Gonna check up here. Shit! Kate! Sniper's up top! Alright, we clear them out! Then we deal with the gate! <sighs> That's going to be useful. shooting at me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright. Boop, boop. Okay, we got them all. Now let's deal with this gate situation. Uh, what's in here? So, what do you think we're gonna find on the other side of this thing? Hopefully, the truth. That's it. Alright. So this whole part. Let's go here first. I'll take it from there. And look at that! We got a comm tower up ahead! Fingers crossed one of those new hope messages passed through it! Hey, look, even if they did, we'll need transmission data from two towers. One won't be enough to figure out where those messages came from. Then let's get started. Let's go this way. Let's see what it gives us. Idea what this building is? It looks like a substation at the comm tower. Might have supplies. Looks like someone's been here. Wonder if it was those outsiders. It's Lena. She's frozen solid. Man. But what happened to a friend? Look around for clues. Security memorandum. A security memorandum listing access codes for various sites around the Kadar region. There is a code included for the northern substation. It's a security code. For a different substation. If we're looking to help her friend, I call that a solid lead.
Okay. No, it's already ordered to go. Mechanics on that are really bad, but anyways, that's enough. So I have to go here, but I don't know how to do that. Let's keep to our left. I guess we're gonna have to go in by foot. Marcus, you know anything about a condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. Wreckage is pretty spread out. A lot of area to search. Block! Block! No, two blocks! Why do you think I said it twice? Oh shit! Rejects pouring out of that car door! Spread out! Give them multiple targets! Searching. You know, with the flock around, every time a condor goes down, it turns into a goddamn recheck factory. Yeah, well, I never liked DBs much the other way either. Okay, so, where am I supposed to go? I'm assuming I'm supposed to go up there. Try, try shot. Yeah. All right. 
I may actually stop here for tonight. Uh, I would love to stream longer, but I feel I'm going to pay for it if I do. So, just trying to wait till the next checking point, or next checkpoint. Ultimate upgrade marked for death. Attacks when pulsed enemies deal 20% more damage. This upgrade has been automatically equipped. Alright. Alright. I think we scavenged everything. Come on then. Back to the skiff. You know, as ice cliffs of death go, this one's got a nice view. Whatever floats your boat, my friend. I don't even know where the fucking boat is, uh, where my thing is. Come on, up here. So, back on the trail? Unless something else comes up. It always does. I'm heading the wrong way. I have to hurt. What the fuck. Okay, come on, let's go. I'm really bad with directions, apparently. Check this out. You know, Uncle fought in Hollow Storm. Said these derricks launched you underground like a missile. According to him, there were some lost lunches involved. What are we looking? 
looking for here? Remember that engineer's note? If we find the grindless cooling tech, I can wire it into Jack. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> I got a grind lift here. So why did we come here? Uh, find parts of the grind and cooling system. Hey, Muffs has saved. So guys, thank you for everyone that passed by to the stream. Hope that you're having, you're going to have a great week. Uh, hope that you had a great evening. Thank you to everyone that passed by. Thank you, Psych. Thank you, uh, Avante. Thank you for the sub, uh, Psych. Really, really appreciate it. You are awesome. Love you as always. And uh, if you guys want to read our, re our reviews, you can go to aroundtable.ca. Um, last few weeks, I, I personally reviewed. Um, um, Bill and Ted's Face the Music, and I also uh, gave my viewpoint about uh, Microsoft acquiring uh, Zenimax Media. So, um, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great week, and I shall see you next time. Have a good one. Ciao.